episode of what a horse i am here with my buddy jerry williams that's right one thing we want to do is everybody say a prayer for jim don he had yes, an sir. accident recuperating and supposed to be coming home yes so mm -hmm. that'd be good tell you what i'm gonna let you do your job and then uh we're gonna talk about this great weekend we just had that'll work we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB Voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Jacobs family asks for your support as Allie Doe Jacobs competes in the 85th National Celebration starting with Grayton Beach in Class 46, the Youth 11 and Under Mare Division, followed by Coach Cal competing in Class 51, You Show Pleasure, and then directing Cole Hahn in the 11 and Under Building Division. Ali Jo and her family humbly ask for your continued support as she presents her horse for championship honors. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All right. I want to tell everybody the celebration starts the 23rd of this month. And this year, it, of course, it's joined with the fraternity. But Wednesday night is normally held inside the Cal Sonic. This year it will not. It will be outside in the big arena. So our celebration tickets are actually for 11 days this year okay rather than 10. Mm -hmm. and there's one other thing i want to talk about and later on this year the rack and horse celebration will be held in cooper still arena and just so y'all get a look right here is a rack and specialty action this is a three-year-old that's mr roy wester in the saddle he's slim savvy roy wanted to remind everybody that 
The Rack and Horse Show will be in Cooper Steel Arena later this year. And for information, you can call 256-353-7225. That's going to be a big deal. Oh, yes. That's the last, a big deal. Well, it's last five days, yeah. ninth, ninth through the 14th. So you're talking about a whole lot of action. Roy is real active in that. Yes. Pretty nice horse right there, buddy. Pretty nice horse. He get, he's getting it done. Getting it done. Sure is. All right. You know, a uh, little bit later we're going to do a, a, a inter part of an interview uh, with Jeffrey Howard, and the rest of it I have put it on Facebook and YouTube, so everybody can see the full. It's about 25 minutes long. Yes. But uh. A lot, a lot of things going on right now. Uh, they're going to, we're always, always ready to fight for the performance horse that sold. But right now, lawsuits and uh, any type of action is being wait and see. Yes. And, and Jeffrey will explain that in the interview. I do want to talk about the splits. Yes. The State class, and you said this, this is going to be tough. I be mean, a, it, a this year big, ain't no cakewalk, no. buddy. And split A is Big Honor, Master of Design, Mr. True Blue, our current four-year-old world grand champion, Holyfield, my papa, Dixie Road, Mac One, and Glory JC. Yeah. It's a tough class. Now, the B, B class, you're going to be giving an award in yeah, that or a no, trophy. Yeah, in honor of my dad. In honor of your dad, that's yes. right. Jose's Revival, Kobe 24, honor and remember, Jose ain't it so. The current world grand champion, Justified Honors, and then Walking Mr. Charlie and Minor Ordeal, who showed in Portrait Saturday night, and I can only say one thing, he's back. Yeah. Now he he came in. Knox had him dialed in. Uh, Wartrace had a fantastic show. They I believe it was 160 entries Man. somewhere in there. That but the people, I mean they was they was people everywhere and there was you know there was a threat yes. of rain. Uh -huh. I didn't see you. No, no. You take care of Jim. I'll Don, take care of Jim Don. You know. Try to take care of him. Well, tell, tell people what happened to Jim Don. Jim Don had a little accident. He was riding a horse and he fell off of it and stuff like that. But now he got kind of banged up pretty bad there. He um, broke his ribs and punctured his lungs and <clears throat> broke his collarbone and his wrist. So, I mean, he had a kind of rough accident there. But he's he's up talking and walking around. They had him up walking and stuff. So, I mean, I think tonight they're going to let him come home. Well, you you know what's going to happen when he comes to the barn, and he can't work. Oh yeah, that's my right hand man, now, Jimmy. Don yeah, yeah, but I know what's fixing to happen. You're fixing to have a new CEO. Yeah, that's right. He, he's going he's going to have to be telling everybody. Well, we need to do it this way. I got a good chair, comfortable chair for him to sit in, where it's spin around, where he's gonna be comfortable. Hey, I've watched him. He has a certain way of doing everything, but yes. he he makes sure he wants them horses looking good. Oh yes, he does. He now. grooms them, trims them. He he does it all, which I think is fantastic. He he does a he does a great job, and he he the other stuff he ain't gonna be able oh, yeah. to do that. Mm -hmm. But now he can give orders. Oh yeah. I mean he. He's noted for that. He's known for doing that right there. <laughs> I'm putting him over Brad. Brad, every Brad. Put him over Brad. <laughs> Everybody going out to go out to Jerry's barn because it, it's going to be a whole lot of action yes, out there. Yes, sir. I, I promise you, it will we be some action. We have our own TV show out there. <laughs> we can do it all. Well, I tell you, we uh, we got some victory passes and some other stuff to go over, but I do want to uh, tell, let everybody know that. This interview with Jeffrey, we're going to show just a portion of it here. And then you can go to the What a Horse YouTube, and that's all you got to do is just type in What a Horse YouTube, and it'll take you straight to it. You can go to our uh, What a Horse TV video group Facebook page. It's on my Facebook page, and I've sent a link to the report to where they can post it on their page. Because this is very interesting and it's very good, 
everybody needs to watch it, pay attention, and remember this year when you lead your horse up there, strongly suggest that you video the entire inspection, every bit of it, because you may need it later on. I recommend everyone to, to watch that video. Yes. All right, let's go and watch the interview with Jeffrey, and we'll be back as soon as it's over. We are here at Celebration Grounds, and I am with Mr. Jeffrey Howard this morning, and we're going to talk about the industry and where we stand. I know we're up in in uh, over 2,500 entries for the celebration. Uh, anything else you can tell us? You know, I think uh, from the perspective of the show, we're excited. I mean, the horses are up, uh, entries are over 2,500 again. I think um, for the first time last year, we went over 2,500 for the first time since 2012. I think that's right, Jerry. So right. to hit that number again, um, it is it was a positive for us because we were a little concerned uh, if you look at the shows this year there's been an, some of the shows that have been just slightly down from where they were the previous year so for us to be able to get back to where we were the year before and, and hit over that 2500 mark uh, we're really excited about that that's significant it is it really it, is, it, it really is. They, uh, I know though we went to shows this weekend Fedville and then War Trace I was really enthused with the number like Friday night we had a good show but Saturday night, the War Trace show was, I mean, it was, it was a lot of good two-year-olds. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of good horses there. Yeah, I think, uh, I totally agree. I mean, War Trace is a historic show in this business. War Trace is historic uh, in our business, uh, the cradle of the Tennessee walking horse, right? So to have, to see them have 161 uh, horses, a very good crowd, uh, I yes. thought. Uh, and so people to be able to enjoy uh, what ended up being good weather. I know there was the threat of storms all night, but they never got there at least until the show was over. Uh, but yes, I think the quality, the depth, both nights, uh, just very, very uh, uh, impressive. And I think a good sign uh, for things to come. I know the War Trace show has uh, had some years where they haven't been as strong, uh, right. getting there up close to the celebration, right? People are ready and turn their attention once the deadline is over. Uh, for celebration to kind of turn their attention to that. But to see that and to see, you're right, not just 161 horses, but quality horses, horses that will have a chance to win at the celebration were over at War Trace the other night and, and at Fayetteville. Uh, I thought they had a fantastic show. Oh, I, I, was, I was tickled with the Fayetteville show. They, they just made it out. I mean, it was just above average, but they sold out a chicken, as usual. Yeah. And, but War Trace, I've seen a friend I hadn't seen in a while, and they said, you know how many years it's been since we've seen this many people at this show? Yeah. And they're right, because, I mean, people were fighting for spaces to just where they could sit and see. Correct. It was, it was Correct. Good. It was good. Makes make you look forward to celebration. It, it, it very right. much does. All right. The rest of that is on YouTube, Facebook, and, and later I, I strongly suggest y'all listen, yes. watch the video. Uh, and and remember exactly what what's being said because this this swabbing should be in a controlled area. It's not, so there's no lawsuits or anything planned right now. But that doesn't mean that they can't. So, but we want to watch what's what's actually happening. All right, let's go to uh, Heart of Champions. It's a show held in Champions Arena in Sh Shelbyville. DeJano and Daniel Smith, we're going to see him at the celebration. I bet money, and I'm going to tell you, he has to be one of the contenders at the top. Oh, yes, now he does. He, is he has one to be contenders. That kid can. That young man can really ride a horse right there. He sits oh, up he on can. a horse, looking between his ears. He gets it done. Nice looking horse. Yes. Real nice looking. Daniel's a good young man too. Yes. He's got fantastic grandparents. Right here's Dark Rain. I love this horse. 
Taylor Walters, from Molly Walters family, the amateur, 15 to an under winner. Edgar does a real good job with that horse right there. He does. Yeah. You know, you, you see some of these horses that come in, you, you, you look at the rider and this amateur, but it's the trainer yeah. that gets these horses ready. And, and Edgar is, is Edgar Abernathy, he just, He's one of the best at training the for the amateurs. amateurs. Yes. And we got some great trainers that do it for the amateurs. There's Jive SS and Sam Sara, far Sam Sara. He's a great judge. You just found out that he's a pretty good jockey. Yes. Well, now Sam been riding the horse for a long time. Oh, I know. Yeah. But he you don't see him riding right. that much. But Most of the time no. you see him standing out in the center ring judging. Yeah. It's a nice horse right it there. It is a nice horse. Right there is honor and remember. Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis, your walk North state class winner. That's one of the big ones. He's he's in a split. I think he's in the first split. No, he's in the second split. He's in the B. Yeah. I tell you, that's going to be a good class there. I mean, both, of them class. both of them classes are going to be tough. This year at the celebration, them splits remind me of the classes back in the 80s and 90s when, when you had all the good horses that were showing so many good ones at one time. Well, that's the way it works. Now yeah. we're in Marshall County. This was one that Jeffrey talked about in his uh, interview about the conditions that and they were used in the swabbing. Yes. It's the medalist and Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. Right here's one of your top contenders. Oh, yes. That gilding division is stacked, buddy. Oh, yeah. Little Wilder Way jumped right in the middle of it uh -huh. this weekend. But now right there, it's a, it's a good horse and a good little jockey. Yep. It's the medalist, Eli Cunningham. And here's a King fan and Bob Adcock, oh. amateur 50 and over winner. That was that been good for a long time, and he, you know, he's a nice one. Tell you what, our our amateur classes are going to really be exciting. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you, every class this year at celebration, I believe, is gonna be exciting. I mean, it's a bunch I, I, of good ones. <laughs> hey, a bunch of I good classes, a bunch, bunch of, of good, good horses. Yes. There's Black Gen Scout. She's going for her another yeah. set of roses. I swear I'm nice old. She's won three in a row now. So, and Jen Black Scout, she's ready to go again. Boy, you see the, the more competition we get. Yes. Right here, we're in red carpet of the South, Pulaski, Tennessee, a red alert and Dan Waddell. I tell you what, that one just keeps getting better and yes. better. And uh, this weekend he showed it. Yeah. Dan does a good job on his horses. Oh yeah, real good job. And he does, it doesn't seem to push them. He, he lets them kind of do slow, but Bold into it. Right here, Switchblade. She may surprise a lot of people at this celebration because yeah. every time she rides that horse, she's she a little better. bit better. Mm -hmm. A little bit better. There, me and Pocahontas and Allison Balkum for Allison Armstrong. 
Trainers, Wives, and Children winner. That me and Pocahontas, that's one good mare. Oh, yeah. She can sit up on a horse real good. Yes, she does. That's a good job. Right here is Limestone and Dan Waddell. This is another now. He's a three-year-old. But now he's done a good job with this one. Yeah. Jordy and Kim Lewis are some real good people, too. Yeah, they are. Now they are. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock, your amateur five-year-old. That's going to be a tough, tough class yes. at celebration. That's another good horse Bob have. He yes. Has a bunch of good ones. Oh, he's got several good ones. He's got yes. some good two-year-olds coming yeah. too. Twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong. She sets a good seat. Oh, yeah. And I, every time I've seen her show this horse, he's better. She's getting more adjusted to him. Getting it done. Gonna be one of them in the heat of it. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, it just kept getting better and better and oh, yeah. better, and it's gonna keep getting better. But we got some more. We're going to go up to the international, and then we got Putnam County. That's up. Uh, this right here was the uh, maiden. The class of all classes. Yes. Jalapeno and Joe Lester for Kimberly and Perry Walden. I want to thank my buddy Bob Roach for this video. That is one good horse. Yep. <clears throat> Jalapeno. I tell you what, that horse's mama is a good one. Uh, last year, I think the coat right before this one tied reserve in this class. Is that right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, then this one here wins it this year. Tell you what, that's nice right there. Congratulations, Joe. That sizable check went with that win. Yes. But I tell you what, there's there's nobody more deserving yeah. than Kimberly and Perry. Now they're they're good people. And this is Bob. I talked him into sending me some video of himself. His, yeah. Evidently, his wife had to do this video for him. But Beach Bum Bruce and Bob Roach won the amateur two-year-old winner class. Bob sets a good seat. He yeah, sets he up sets in there. That's a good horse. You, right you know, there. he was a school teacher. Okay. Bob is a real nice man now. Oh, he's a good guy. He is. Super good. I appreciate him. Every now and then I need some video if I wasn't there and, and he's always come through for me, so I appreciate that. He had me videoing a little bit for him the other yeah. night. <laughs> That's a nice horse right there. Yeah, it is. Right there's Koufax and Blaze Picard. Now there's a saying. Herschel Blessing told me in, in Lynchburg, Tennessee one year, he said, Jerry said, he walked on water tonight. We're going to the celebration. 
Mm -hmm. Prison Sky won the World Grand Championship. So that's right there it is. Now she she's not in the state in the state class, but she's gonna be knee deep in that four year old division. Yeah. <laughs> Lane does a good job with that horse right there. Oh she does now. She's got him dialed in. Yeah. He is flat out walking. And I mean flat out walking. Yeah. That Wagman's good, is good people, oh, yeah. too. I've talked to both of them, so they're good. All right. I think you got to do your job again. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> At celebration time, Manali Joe Jacobs is geared up and ready to ride, starting by showing her riding skills on Ain't He Grand in class 78E11 and under equitation class. Then she will cowgirl up and show first night out in class 86, the Youth Country Pleasure, followed by Switchblade in class 94, the 6 to 14 year old Youth Pony Division. Allie Jo is ready to ride and asks for your support as she goes for top honors during the 85th celebration. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. Remind everybody again, when your horse is in inspection, video. The yes. swabbing, palpation, walking the cones, everything. Video it all. Cover yourself. Be prepared. And now I want to show a special little video of a horse that you can bet is going to be celebration bound in the in the contenders and it's one of the top contenders. Skip the line. Kimberly Walden. You skip the line all day pleasure two and three year old. She had a lot of nice horses, but now Skip the Line is definitely at the top of the oh, list.
tell you what, she does a lot to help some oh, yeah, she kids does. and stuff. She had a young man showing horses for her this weekend. But I, I think that's great. Oh, yeah, she, that's... she gets them involved. You were right about that. All right, now we're going to go. This, we had two great shows this weekend, Jerry. And we kicked it off in Fedville, Tennessee. The Blue Ribbon. Right here, Youth Lebanon Underclass. Graydon Beach and Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue. Ignite the Night and Jansen Wilson was reserve. Lily Waits, Caroline Ensel, and My Diamonds and Pearls Wilder Way finished out the ribbons. But I'm gonna tell you, that young lady can flat ride that, that mare. Oh yeah. At Graydon Beach. She fell in there. I, I was I was shocked at the way she's riding that mare right now. Look at there. Lee Boyd was the judge in Fedville. Yeah. She's one of our celebration judges. Nice yes, it is nice horse. Yeah. All right, get running, walk, please. Our young showman in the ring. Wilder made his statement Showed Saturday Walker. night. Running, please. <laughs> hey, what? They had a big crowd over there. Oh yeah, they had a big crowd. Yeah, they did. They had a big crowd. Right there's your winner, Graydon Beach and Ally Joe Jacobs for Jake and Ally Joe. But that's really Ally Joe's horse. Jake just won his name. Oh yeah. I had a long talk with her grandfather Saturday night. He's a, he's a fine gentleman. Found out him and Bobby Joe Jones went to 4-H camp together. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Right here now, this part performance class, it was tough. There was two horses out there that was flat walking. Uh -huh. Drop a line and Jordan Golden won the class for Kay Dempsey. Hello, handsome, and Reagan Garner for Russian Creek Walkers was reserved. I'm Bowie and Stephanie Morton for John, Joanne Boatman and a first lady of jazz, Jim Heidi, finished out the ribbons. Okay. But now, right there, that drop of line, it was, that was your second place horse there. That drop of line looked good. That's oh, yeah. Charles Glaghorn's granddaughter. Okay. Jim made a good show over there. Jim Heidi. Yeah. Pretty horse right there. It is pretty horse. Nice place. Yeah, it is. It wasn't four horses in it, but it was a lot of talent in there. Yeah. But I've, I've always liked that drop of line. Uh -huh. He's a pretty, he's got a pretty color to him, but he, he's got a consistent walk, too. Yeah. That was nice. Uh -huh. Back to a flat walk. Line of time to the north side exhibitors, our amateur riders of park performance. Into the line of three. Drop a line. There's your winner. Drop a line and 
Jordan Golden. We used to watch her in lead line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do grow up. Oh, She's yeah. in college now. Right here, your amateur specialty class. I'm gonna tell you. Kelly, here she comes, put on a show. Yeah. Walk for Roses, and Kelly Clark took the blue for Clark and Brassy. Jose the Champ, Amy Ann Hurst for Mike McCormick. Brubaker, Ted McDougal for Leland McDougal. And the Glory Wolf, Randy Stone, finished out the ribbon. Yeah. But now that young lady, she let them know that she was there. And she made one heck of a show. Yeah, she did. That was a tough class, too. There wasn't nothing easy in there. Your buddy's sitting there. Yeah, Mr. Keezy. Nice horse there. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, she she got the hitch now. Oh yeah. There were several nice horses in that yeah. class, but I'm gonna tell you that walk for roses. He's flashy. Yeah. He's big. He's pretty. And Kelly can flat ride. Yeah. She's like her mother now. She can set a saddle. Seen a bunch of my good friends over there. There he is, Walk for Roses and Kelly Clark. Getting it done. Oh, yeah. Now, right here, this, this right here is just because uh, I, I don't know whether to call him a legend or what. Ronnie Spears won this class. When's the last time you've seen him in a I class? Know, I know. <laughs> Indy's honor, and Ronnie Spears took the blue. Right there he is for Dan and Keith McSwain. Patriots honored Dan Waddell for Andrea Claiborne was reserved. Prince of Liberty knocks Blackburn for LaRue McWaters. I'm a Wichita lineman, Winky Groover for Mike McCormick. Finished out the ribbons. But it was my buddy, Ronnie Spears. Now, Ronnie was the first trainer to ever train one of my horses. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Ryan's a legend now. He been... I had a stud, and I said, what do you think's best for it? And he said, I'd guilt him. <laughs> Broke my heart. <laughs> Ronnie is our flag horse man for the celebration. Yeah. But he was in town early, so he uh, hitched a ride. They call that a catch ride. Yeah. Did he be? He, he had it right, though. He, he did a catch ride on a good one. And I mean a good one. There he is, in D's honor. And Ronnie Spears for Dan and Keith McSwain.
I gotta send Ronnie a copy yeah. of that. <laughs> done a great job. I'm trying to think how many years it's been since he's actually shown in a class. I mean, I'm, I yeah. need to find that out because that that was just like seeing something from the past. Yes, that's right. In there. You're exactly right about that. Okay. All right, it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know that? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 6-time world champion in amateur and open competition, 4-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to War Trace, 161 entries. A good deal. And now they, they had some quality, and I mean quality, and we're going to start it off with one of Dan Waddell's trained horses with Miss Kim Lewis in the saddle. She did a great job of showing this horse. Outstanding job your amateur two-year-old mare and gildings. A red alert right there. Yeah. Look. Oof. Kim Lewis, for yeah, Kim and George right. Lewis, took the blue. Call me Samite. Stephanie Richards, Far Stephanie Richardson. 
Schlinkadink, Caleb Dawson finished out the ribbons, but I'm here to tell you now. I, this one says get better and better every time I see him in the show ring. Hey, he does. Yeah. And he's I mean, he's one of these that when he comes in, you see him. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he, he he ain't sorry and he's not black. He's yeah. not, you know, I mean, he stands out. That is nice. It's a good horse. Real good horse. Yep. Properly named, too. Red Alert. For a good name. Wave them legs. Yeah. All right, it's right up on the south rail. It'll just come around on the south rail for the last. Well, I'm going to tell you the expression on her face I was watching. Yeah. Now, the expression on her face was worth a million dollars when <laughs> they called her number. It really was. That thing crowded with people around through there. Hey, I'm telling you, War Trace was packed now. And it was threatening rain, and there, but it never rained. And it was just, once the sun went down, it was very, very pleasant. Right here, all day of pleasure. She's never been kissed. Kimberly Walden took the blue for Kimberly and Perry Walden. Miss Dixie Line, Pat Ireland was reserved. Absent these, Sadie Raider in Fragile Rock, Caitlin Byron finished out the ribbons, but it was, she's never been kissed, and Kimberly Walden. I tell you what, Kimberly has a lineup of oh, good yeah. horses and does an excellent job of showing them. That's my gate there. <laughs> Trail walking, buddy. Yeah. I've seen my good buddy, Bobby McNatt, at Fedville. He's wanting me to come come down there and go trail riding. And, and I, I, I just might end up down there. Boy, I, I, do, I do enjoy it. He come and, and visit me the other day at the moment. Yeah, he told me he did. Yeah. He said, he said, I stopped by and seen you, buddy. Yeah. But now he, uh, when you go trail riding with Bobby McNatt, he takes you on them old timey trail rides yeah. sometimes. He carried me on one with one of my horses that we was <laughs> blazing her own trail. She's never been kissed in Kimberly Walden. All day pleasure class winner. She has got some really, nice really horses. nice horses. Yeah. I mean, nice horses. Yeah. They got tent set of ahead everything, oh, yeah. didn't they? This right here was an excellent class. These amateur two-year-olds, yeah. I mean, nice horses in there. There's Bob on one. Straight Republican and Sadie Parsons took the blue. No doubt I am, Bob Adcock was reserved. Big Charlie, Brian Reese was third. 
and give you cold chills. Becky might finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to tell you, Sadie Parsons put on a show. And they, all them horses yeah. in there were nice. There were four good ones in there. O'Brien can ride. Can oh, yeah. He? There's Sadie in the blue. But I'm going to tell you, Sadie, Sadie made a, a heck of a ride. She'll surprise people with her riding oh, yeah. skills. Now, that's a fact. Straight Republican and Sadie Parsons. I knew I recognized the horse, but I couldn't place it until they called yeah. his name. They had a different rider. She just purchased him. Okay. Yeah, buddy, he's rocking. Oh, yeah. She don't have no problem showing him. No, she don't. Getting it done. Right here's your open specialty. This was a good one. Right there went Joe Paul. He was the winner of this class, and rightly so, because he really come in walking. Joe Paul and Tanner Burks took the blue for Shane Porterfield. Yellowstone and Dick Peoples was reserved for Kay Isterling. Thunderstruck and Dixie, Jackie Byron for Joyce Hofstad. And record high, Bobby Hugh for Brenda Mormon. Finished out your ribbons. Right there, Joe Paul. Looking good, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. I tell you what, I thought Yellowstone looked pretty yeah, good. good too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Dick gets the most out of it. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, he, he really does. But I'm going to tell you, I think Tanner did a good job with Joe Paul. Yeah. There's your winner, Joe Paul and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. They call that walking. Oh, yeah. Tanner looks like a jockey, oh, yeah. doesn't he? Mm -hmm. What well, horse state class now? It, it, only two horses, but they were two good ones. Minor Ordeal and Knox Blackburn took the blue from Mona Dean. And Jose, it ain't so, and R.M. Kellett for Jake Jacobs. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of people were thrilled to see Miner back oh, in yeah. the rain. You got a great canter. set a horse. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, he can, he can set a horse. This was a tough class with just two horses in it. Yeah. Minor, 
minor ordeal in Knox Blackburn for Mona Dean took the blue. And he is in split B. Yeah. So. Wearing the roses. Bunch of changes. Huh? I said a bunch of changes, I see. Good horse. I'll tell you what, they, War Trace had a heck of a show, and that, that used to be the show oh, before yeah. the celebration. Mm -hmm. and, and now, well, it used to be Belfast, Fed, no, Fedville, Belfast, and then War Trace. War Trace. Mm -hmm. Then Belfast dropped out, so War Trace moved to Friday night, and now it's Friday and Saturday night for Fedville and War Trace. But both of them had real good shows. I was, I was tickled. Oh yeah, I mean, had some good shows. Well, we lost to Cap. Real good show. That must have been. That was one of the state class. <laughs> that was minor ordeal. <laughs> I, I lost minor. I didn't mean to. I was fooling around. But I want to remind everybody to video your inspections yes. when they come in to swab everything because all this is important. The, uh, I do not believe that a swabbing violation would ever hold up in court because of the way they're doing it. Yes. Now that's my opinion. I'm not an attorney, but uh, I, I just don't see how it can. I just, uh, I think it's a, it's a tactic, but I'm hoping that uh, when everybody l listens to the interview we did with uh, Jeffrey Howard, that it'll explain a lot. And um, if you have questions, you can call. Uh, if I can't answer it, I'll, I'll call Jeffrey and ask him or, I just or one of I just everybody just to watch the video. Yeah, just, yeah. watch the video yeah. and learn as much as you can. But be prepared. And let's go to the celebration this year and have a good time. Yes. Get wet on Saturday night. We know it's coming. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, you could. It wouldn't be a celebration if it didn't rain. Why not? I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have me a rain suit. You can bet that much. Yeah. But we'll be back next week with some more video and hope people getting ready for the celebration and maybe a couple more interviews. So have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, I'll do the same. Enjoy yourself. Have a good weekend. Get Everybody. rested. Get rested up for the celebration coming up. And you're gonna buy everybody dinner, right? Yeah, on your credit card. <laughs> I ain't got one. <laughs> See y'all next week. <laughs>